kids. So this is Matt, he's come and picked me up and we've gone out for a quick fly. So here we are test flying the ZMR250. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> so this is my killer bee and the last time I flew this here I actually um, got the antennas stuck inside the props and chewed them up. So, as you can see, I got over here and basically lost all signals, so the failsafe kicked in and we crashed. So let's see what we've got in the mail today. Quite a large package actually. Uh, not sure what this is yet. So let's get inside. There was already a bit of damage. This was actually throwing over my gate into my garden. I was just left outside in the rain. Ah, I know who this is from. There's two things in here. Can you tell what the first one is? Yun Smooth C slash R professional free axis handheld stabilizing gimbal and you obviously you can tell from the picture it's meant for your phone. Uh, on the picture it looks like an, uh, one of the latest iPhones, iPhone 6. So that's nice. Quite like the look of that. Nicely packaged. Hopefully it's still all intact inside after being thrown over my fence. And then something here. It's actually for my daughter. Because I'm doing all the flying usually, and no one else gets, uh, gets uh, to do some of the fun. So here we go, a flying fairy. Now these have actually come from uh, Gear Best, I think it was. Uh, Gear Best have been asking me for a while to do some videos on their stuff, so I said okay and uh, picked a few things. I tried to pick a hoverboard, but they wouldn't send me that. <laughs> it wouldn't be very good with my leg. But um, I thought it'd be good to get my daughter into it and have her fly something, so here's the fairy. I'm sure she'll enjoy that, as long as it's not too destroyed, as you can see. Mm. Hopefully it's okay. Oh, it has been crushed a bit down there. But um, yeah, this looks kind of interesting. We'll uh, get this out and do a video review on this, maybe. Next mailbox. Do do do. I've already just ripped the top off this. I think that's it. Wow, lots of props. Who sent me these? That looks familiar. Bird's Eye. Bird's Eye has sent me and some power distribution boards. These are their latest power distribution boards uh, with the Polulu. Uh, parts you can put in here and the have an XT60 on there so this can sit um, maybe below your flight controller 
uh, have your play controller up here and have this stick out the edge of your quad permanent uh, supply so you take your battery off the top and plug it straight in quite like the look of them he's actually sent me two of them so thank you very much for that Rudy at uh, Bird's Eye definitely check those guys out you know you do know I fly their killer bee and their baby B 180 as well it's a different ESC sorry not an ESC a uh, another power distribution board so it's killer B power distribution board 1.4 so this is the updated version with the, again, Pololu inputs on it. Pretty nice. I can add that to my um, Killer B if I want to. He's added some DAL Bullnose Props 5045s. I haven't got any of these, so that's awesome. We'll do some bench tests with these. It'll be interesting to see what the um, Cobras can do with a Bullnose 4x45. And it looks like some Dow. 4045, sorry, I said 4045. They are the 5045s, and I've got some 404, 4045s. So they are similar to the FUG props, but we'll check the balance on these and see if these are better, uh, and we'll check the uh, thrust on them as well and see what we can get out of them. That'll be interesting. So a whole bunch of props there. That's, that's really awesome. I really appreciate that. Uh, I will be using the 5x45s on the Krieger. That's going to be perfect for me. Thank you very much. Day four. So let's check the balance of the 4045s. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't get any more balance than that. Seriously. Whoa. Check that out. <laughs> What's going on there? Let's try that on the other side. They're pretty well balanced. Quite happy with that. Can't argue with that, actually. A few moments later. Dial prop 5045 bullnose test on the Cobra 2204 2300 kV. Um, running a 4 cell. 576. Four oh four five about four twenty. Okay, so this time around we've swapped uh, the speed controller for a twenty amp ESC, which is the Afro, exactly the same as the twelve amp running BL Heli fourteen point two. So let's see if the bigger ESC or higher amperage ESC can give more power. This is the same battery from the last test. You can see it's actually already pulling more amps for some reason. So let's give it a spin. Four hundred and eighty eight. Now we'll put the Dow 5x45 uh, bullnose on there and see if that's made a difference. Absolutely huge improvement, 730 something that was. Uh, this time we done 240 watts, 15, 15 and a half amps. So it looks like the speed controller does make a huge difference. Hmm, interesting. Alright, when you let off the throttle too much. So that's it for today's video guys, thank you very much for watching. I did find that ESC change very interesting going from the 12 amp to the 20 amp and actually giving us 
quite a lot more thrust, so maybe we'll have to revisit some of our thrust stand tests. <laughs> you can hear them just screaming down that back straight, can't you? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.